recently, but well, my, I used to go with Miriam recently, but since I went to TV, you need to have this identity, you need to have this thing that not everyone would like. If someone had recently, by the know that has to be this and this. Yeah, so yeah, I haven't been here for too long, I've been in the media for like two years, after college, and it's not somewhere I actually thought I would be. And it's not actually easy being in the media as a woman, because at this all this policy about your chicks in the media are uh, bad things, it's bad names, they call people and yeah. And you can trust them. I actually had a friend who said they can never date someone in the media because especially chicks because they're this, they tend to meet everyone and they tend to do those whatever they call bad things. But well for me it has been challenging and I would say to be telling you for those are in this industry as well, because people have these expectations about you. When they see you on TV they think, yeah, you're this high end lady who dresses expensive, who lives expensive, who drives big cars. I don't think being in the media means you have money. It means you can just sustain yourself and you're struggling like any other person to have a job. So I would think the way people operate is people they see in the media is not really what should be because in most cases it's a job like any other. It's the way you wake up and work in a bank. So it's nothing glamorous. At times it is glamorous because you tend to see all these kind of celebrities we call them. Or you go for these fun events or you do all these things that without media pass you can get anywhere. That's the only maybe good part about being in the media. But the most part of it, for me, I don't like publicity so it's kind of hard. So with time I think either I'll have to adjust or just go into a different industry altogether. Because since I was growing up, I thought I would be a doctor, by the way, or anything in the medical fraternity, but that never happened. I found myself in the media, had to save my mom, who really persisted. But uh, yeah, maybe, maybe in the next four or five years, I will know where exactly I want to be. If I want to stay in the media, then maybe I will go behind the scenes and do production. But if I have to stay on, like, on screen, then that will be being an anchor for some time, then maybe move to a different profession altogether. Yeah, being in the media, being in the limelight, it's not like the easiest thing and the chicks you see in the media strive the best struggle to be who they are because their image is everything. So don't let's not be too quick to judge and or too harsh to judge. Being in the media is all about giving it your best. This kind of uh, the way people overrate media people, as I mentioned it, they want to see you, they want to know where do you hang out and they don't want to see you in not very dingy places, but why are, you, why are you dining at this and this place? You're the kind of people who should be at this and this place. You see, they have this, what do we call this level they've set for you. They, they set standards for you instead of you setting standards for yourself. Yeah, so that has been mainly the hardest part of being in the media. Apart from that, yeah, you have to work extra hours. Like right now, I should be at home, it's a Saturday, but I'm here working and tomorrow if there's any other event, I have to do it. Because yeah, I'm, I'm doing entertainment, entertainment happens mostly at night, mostly during the weekend. So when you, you tend to lose that kind of social life. Well, I think I'm adjusting, I got used to it. <laughs> oh, one shocking thing about me, I don't do relationships. I think they've never been my thing. Because number one, not because I can date or because people would act, actually get shocked like, not going out with anyone or you don't have a boyfriend yes i don't because it's never been my thing i've never felt the need to so we have, maybe in future yeah it is, if i like someone i can commit i can sacrifice it's all about sacrifice everything is all about sacrifice yeah. but so far uh, 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 too much of my time is at work so you tell me things and stay easy trying to tell me you have work when you're not having work when you no. you see the way people try to mistrust the little chicks yeah. so far let me just be myself life is what you need it's not about in as much as we have these role models we look up to it's not about living their life but getting that as an example to live in life and having that mission in the society make that difference to yourself not to the people around you